Hey guys, my name is Jason Walge, and welcome to another Panzer Gaming Studios tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to export out FBX skeletal meshes and FBX animations from 3D Max, and you are going to learn how to import them into UDK successfully. So let's get started right away. As we can see here that I have my skeletal mesh rigged and animated. Uh, my timeline is from 400 to 600, and if you have multiple animations, all you have to do is go in and change these figures around to match your timeline. <clears throat> so, for example, I have a ton of animations in here. So, for this example, we're just going to go to 400 by 600, or 400 to 600. So, when that's all done, all you have to do is go up here, go into Export. Make sure you know what file directory you are saving your file at. By default, it will be FBX, which is perfect. Right now, I'm just going to click on Zombie. It's going to ask me if I want to replace that. I'll say yes for this tutorial. Next thing that you want to do is you want to click on Animation. Make sure that's checked. Make sure your bake animation's on. Now, it already, excuse me, it already, bleh, can't speak. It already calculated what I was doing. My start frame 400, my end frame 600. Once that's all set up, you would simply hit OK. And when it'll take about two or three minutes to finish saving that, and you'll come up with this. This is what it'll look like. I need mine simply a zombie right now. When that's done, the next step you want to do is go into UDK. And I'll delete this out to show you guys what's up. Yeah, I know. Boop. Go on, delete out. Mm, okay, it's going to be stubborn, so ignore that. I'll just re-import it in. Go to import, find your zombie file. There it is, your FBX. That looks like this. That you just exported out. Double click. This screen will pop up. Name it in the package that you want. The grouping should be skeletal mesh. It'll make it easier for your programmers. And theoretically, your name should be something like CH, CX, zombie, test character you should really have your ch in front of it that way you can you find it as a character a very important thing is is that this is probably more than likely set to static mesh you most importantly have got to save this as a skeletal mesh so you would hit skeletal mesh hit ok i'll go ahead and i'll hit ok should only take a couple of seconds to import in and there it is once that's imported in all i have to do is double click and we can see that our skeletal mesh is now in 3D Max. However, that if we hit the play button, nothing's happening. The reason why nothing is happening for the animations is because you have not imported in the animations. But you may say, wait, I baked in the animations with the FBX file. Well, that's not how Unreal Engine works. What you actually need to do is you need to go to File, New Animation Set, Grouping Anims more than likely. It's probably what you want to name it. And the animation set, I'm just going to name it Anim Test 3. Hit OK. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to File, Import FBX Animations. And that file that you just imported in, that same exact one, you want to import that in again. So let's double click. <coughs> Excuse me. And there it is. Go back into it, double click, hit the play button. Oh, excuse me. If that doesn't work, you need to go to Anim Set and select the Anim Set that you had. I had Anim Test 3. There, and there it is. And that's all there is to it, boys and girls. The next thing that you want to do is you want to go into your sockets, go to new socket, and then you will name like your spine, B root, your B right hand, you would name that a certain socket, your B left hand would be like dual weapons. Uh, for that part, I'm actually going to link down on this YouTube 
uh, description the actual tutorial on how to create sockets. It's just going to be quicker that way. That way you guys can read off of what to name your sockets. It'll just be much easier. That way there won't be any confusion on that. Other than that, if you guys do have any questions or any problems, you can always email me at panzergamingstudios.com. The link is also in the description. And if you have any other requests or tutorials that you would like to see, please let me know. This is the exact method on also how to import weapons. Now, there's a couple more tricks to it that you have to place your bones properly, and I will be making a video tutorial probably today on how to import in weapons correctly with that as well. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and have fun.